welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. So a couple of weeks ago in my weigh-in video on Friday, I asked you guys what you thought about me doing a video where I compare points versus calories. So essentially I am double tracking the entire week and figuring out what are my points versus calories. Am I eating enough? Am I eating too much? Where can I fill the gaps if I'm low on my calories? So you guys know I do, of course, follow the WW Blue Plan, but I often double track in the Lose It app. It is a free app. Of course, there is a paid service, but you can use the free portion to determine how many calories you should be eating. And it also tells you the percentage of fat, carbs, and protein that you're eating every day and helps you, guides you where you should fall as far as fat, carbs, and protein go on a daily basis. So I did just that for this video. I went ahead and thought of five different types of eaters, five different scenarios that we find ourselves in on WW. <music> in different scenarios on our weight loss journey. Sometimes we find ourselves extremely busy where we just have to grab and go. Some of us are big convenience eaters, processed food eaters. Some of us really focus on whole real food. There are so many different ways to approach the WW program. And of course you have to approach it and work the program the way that works best for you. There's no one size fits all. That's why WW offers the three different programs because everybody's different. Everyone likes to follow the program a different way, likes to eat different foods. So I'm going to be sharing with you just some typical foods that would be eaten in these five different scenarios. Now, of course you may again, choose different foods than I did. I'm just trying to get a rough idea of the foods that we could eat that fall within our points, what the calories of those foods are based on the type of situation that we put ourselves in. So the very first scenario that we find ourselves in on our weight loss journey is the on the go. Now this is the person who eats fast food for all three meals. Now they may take a couple snacks with them. They may be able to pick up some healthy alternatives at these fast food restaurants, but they are on the go and they literally eat all of their meals on the go. Next is the person who is zero point food focused. So this is somebody that lays the foundation of their meals using the zero point foods. So with all three meals and sometimes their snacks, they're utilizing the zero point foods on the plan that they're following. Next is the person who follows more of a whole food approach to their eating. So this is someone that's going to eat a lot of healthy fats. They're really going to be focused on the types of foods that they're putting in their body and not eating a whole lot of processed or heavily processed foods. This is definitely the category that I fall in, but again, we all work the program a different way. So I wanted to share the different ways of working the program and what that looks like points versus calories. The next type is all about the convenience. So this is going to be someone that is more processed, food focused, maybe quick grab and go from your pantry, fridge or freezer. So you're going to see a lot of frozen meals, maybe protein bars, that type of thing. Things that fall within our smart points that are somewhat deemed healthy, but are quick, easy and convenient. And a lot of times with convenience comes processed food. So we are going to highlight a little bit more of a convenient processed food approach to the program. And the fifth scenario is going to be the person that's all about the home cooking. This is going to be the person that literally cooks all of their meals. Now they may use some pre-made ingredients, but they are cooking and putting together all of their meals for the day. So we're going to fall in one of these five categories. These are the general ways that we follow the WW program. So I'm going to jump right into the on the go, the person that is eating a lot of fast food, picking up their food while they're go while they go, we're going to talk breakfast, lunch, dinner. And if there are points available, we're going to throw in some snacks as well. So our on the go eater is going to generally hit up a fast food restaurant, maybe a coffee shop to grab their morning cup of Joe as well as their breakfast for the morning. So in this situation, we're going to go ahead and swing through our local McDonald's. We're going to pick up a McDonald's egg McMuffin. Now this is going to range in smart points, depending on the plan that you're following anywhere from eight to nine smart points. We're also going to, while we're at McDonald's, grab a bag of those pre-cut apples for zero points on all plans. And we're also going to go ahead and pick up that morning cup of Joe and we're going to have it black 
with a little bit of cream. And we're gonna go ahead and count that cream half and half as one smart point. So this breakfast is going to cost us anywhere from 10 to 11 smart points, depending on the plan that you're following. Now for lunch, we're going to Subway. We're gonna pick a little healthier option, maybe one that isn't as high pointed as McDonald's. But remember, we're on the go, we're in our car, we're traveling around, we've gotta grab lunch on the go. So we're gonna go with the Subway six inch sandwich on a wheat bread. This is no mayonnaise and no cheese. And again, this is a six inch turkey. You can add all the vegetables that your little heart desires, as well as any condiments that are zero points, such as mustard, vinegar, salt and pepper, oregano, that type of thing. So this Subway sandwich is going to cost us six to seven points, depending on the plan that we're on. We decide to opt out for the baked chips to allow us a little bit of room for dinner. So for dinner, we're gonna go to Wendy's. We know that Wendy's is typically known to be a little bit more WW friendly than a lot of the other fast food chains out there. So we've decided that we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a Wendy's grilled chicken sandwich. Now this is going to range from seven to eight smart points, depending on your plan. And while we're there, we're gonna grab ourselves a diet soda, a diet Coke, Pepsi, whatever your Wendy's carries. And that's going to be our dinner. So that's it for us. We've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've decided to skip the snacks because we are getting up there in our points. So I'm gonna go over the calories of this day with you first. Then we're gonna talk about how many points we spent on all three plans. And lastly, we'll kind of do a rundown of what we think as far as plans goes, which one lends itself a little bit better to someone that is on the go. So with the food that I shared with you, we ate a total of 1,055 calories. That's it. 1,055 calories, which is under where we should be caloric wise. So now let's take a look at the points that we spent today. So on the blue plan, we spent 22 out of 23 smart points. That left us one point to spare. On the green plan, we spent 25 out of our 30 points. So we actually have five extra points on the green plan. And lastly, on the purple plan, we spent 22 out of 16 points. So we actually went six points over. Now, what does this all mean? So depending on the plan that you follow, there are certain plans that lend themselves to the on-the-go eater. Someone that does eat a lot of fast food, pick up, take out, time to go, busy, busy people who spend a lot of time at their local drive through As you can see, the green plan really does lend itself to this on-the-go eater. We actually had five points to spare. So we could even throw in a couple of snacks if need be, or we could maybe grab a junior size fry at Wendy's, which I think is five to six points. We could really fill those extra five points in easy on the green plan. But we only have one extra point on the blue plan. And my concern with that is, is we ate all of our points but one, but we only ate 1,055 calories. Now I know what you're gonna say. What about more zero point foods? We could have some extra fruits and vegetables. You're right, but we're on the go, remember. So not every restaurant is going to give us the option to buy fresh fruit or fresh vegetables. So yes, we could bump up our calories by implementing a little bit more of those zero point fruits and vegetables. So that would be a good way to go on the blue plan. But the purple plan, we were actually over our points quite substantially on the purple plan. So I would say if you are someone that is on purple, it probably is going to be be fairly tough for you to eat all of your meals on the go. Now, could you maybe have breakfast or lunch on the go? Absolutely. And you could fill that in with other zero point foods since there's so many on the purple plan. But it is a little tougher for someone on purple to be an on the go eater. So overall, our calories are really, really low for honestly all three plans on the on the go. I mean, barely over a thousand calories is certainly not enough for anybody. So that is a little bit concerning but also is the fact that on the purple plan, we went so far over. So again, purple doesn't lend itself to the on the go fast food eater where blue and green lend themselves a little bit more as long as we fill in the gaps with some extra zero point foods. So this may mean packing a few fruits and vegetables from home if they're not readily available for you to pick up while you're out and about. Alrighty, let's talk about the zero point foods focused eater. So this is somebody again that is going to build the foundation of all of their meals with zero point foods. So naturally we should see a little bit higher amount of calories because although we're eating those zero point foods, they're not playing into our points. So we should actually see the calories be 
quite substantially more on the zero point food focused eater. So for breakfast, we are going to have two eggs for zero smart points or four points on the green plan. We're going to have an English muffin, a regular English muffin for four points, a banana for zero points. We're gonna grab two slices of turkey bacon and a tablespoon of a light butter so that we can basically put together a breakfast sandwich with a side of eggs. So we did eat quite a few zero point foods, the eggs, the banana, and then we filled the gaps to make this really delicious filling breakfast sandwich with a banana on the side. Now for our lunch, again, focusing on the zero point foods, we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a wrap. And on our wrap, we're going to put some low fat or zero point turkey breast. We're gonna do one serving of that, which is going to be zero points other than one to two points on the green plan. We're gonna to top it with one tablespoon of light mayo for one point. We're gonna choose a one smart point wrap, such as the Olay wrap. We're gonna spread a wedge of that Laughing Cow cheese in the bottom to give it a little bit more cheesiness and moisture to our wrap. We're gonna go ahead and pair that with four points worth of chips, so poppables or whatever your chip of choice is, and we're gonna go ahead and slice up a small bowl of strawberries. So again, we focused on the turkey breast and the strawberries as our zero point foods. So we went ahead and built our lunch a lot around those zero point foods as well. And then for dinner today, we are going to have some chicken breast for zero points on blue and purple. Points will vary on the green plan. We decided to go ahead and have a cooked cup of rice aroni chicken, or whatever flavor you like. We're gonna pair that with some steamed broccoli, and then we're gonna top that broccoli with one point worth of light butter. So our chicken and our broccoli are zero smart points. Our sides and our butter is what is going to add those additional points. And because we're still a little bit hungry, we're gonna throw in a snack, and we've decided we're going to have a three smart point built bar. This is going to serve as our snack and our dessert for the day. So someone that is focused on zero point foods and builds their meal around the zero point foods, here is how our calories and points broke down for the day. So we ate a total of 1,315 calories. So we definitely were able to get in a little bit more calories today. We had 23 out of 23 points on the blue plan. We had 27 out of 30 points on the green plan, and that is accounting for the zero point proteins that aren't zero points on the green plan. And we ate 21 out of 16 points on the purple plan. So we ended up five over again on the purple plan, even with zero point foods as our focus. And the reason for that is a lot of the foods that we served with our zero points Foods aren't zero points on the purple plan. You know, like the English muffin, we could have maybe had potatoes for zero points. You get the idea. But this is just a random day that is zero points focused. We were really, really close on the green plan. We actually had a few points to spare. So we could always throw in another snack or bulk up our meals a little more. And we were right where we needed to be on the blue plan. And the good news is we ate almost 300 additional calories than we did following the on the go. So it kind of proves that by eating more zero point foods, it really does help bump up your calories. Now, is 1,315 calories fair? It's a little bit low. They say that women should know, eat no less than 1,200, but that is literally sitting around all day long. The more active you are, even if it's walking around your house, cleaning your house, playing with your kids, chasing your dog in your yard, whatever the case may be, the more calories that you're going to burn. So still 1,315 calories is going to be pretty low for most people. All right, so next up is our whole foods eater. This is the person who takes a cleaner or whole food approach to the WW program. So for breakfast today, we are going to have an Ezekiel English muffin, which is also four smart points, the same as a traditional English muffin. We're gonna make a little sandwich and we're gonna top it with one egg for zero points or two Two points on the green plan. Also a light slice of cheese for one point. We're gonna add on two smart points worth of avocado so we get in that healthy fat. And then we're gonna go ahead and for a fruit throw in some strawberries. So this is a really good whole food clean approach. We made a really good breakfast sandwich. We have protein, carbs, healthy fats with the avocado, and then we're gonna side that with some zero point fruit. Now for lunch, we're gonna go ahead and have 
a type of a quinoa bowl. Quinoa is a very common food on the whole food approach and it is zero points on the purple plan. So it'll be very interesting to see how this affects the points on the purple plan. So we're gonna go ahead and have half a cup of cooked quinoa, which is three smart points and zero on purple. We're gonna top that with some chicken breast for zero or points vary on the green plan, we're gonna select a sauce that is going to cost us two points. That could be whatever sauce you would like. And then we're gonna throw in some green beans for an added vegetable. And we're gonna pair that with a sweet treat or a dessert as a banana. So we're having a nice hearty quinoa bowl. Again, we're covering healthy fats, veggies, starches, you name it. And we're gonna have our sweet treat be something of real food, which is a banana, which is an excellent choice for a sweet treat and a zero smart point. And for dinner tonight, we're gonna have a little Mexican siesta and we're gonna make ourselves a burrito. So we're gonna go ahead and use three ounces of 93% ground beef for four smart points. We're gonna choose a wrap that has good ingredients and generally like the La Tortilla factories and those wraps are two smart points. We're gonna top it with one point worth of full fat sour cream and one point worth of shredded cheese and of course, some salsa for zero smart points. And then we're gonna always throw a veggie on the side. So we're gonna go with a little more of a starchy vegetable tonight because all vegetables in starchy are zero points on blue and purple and really minimal points on the green plan. So we're gonna toss in half of a cup of mixed vegetables. And then we're gonna have a built bar again as a snack. So yes, we're taking a whole approach, but we still like to throw in some of our favorite foods every once in a while. So we're just gonna have a built bar because it has a good dose of protein and a super low smart point. So eating a whole foods approach to WW, we did even a little bit better calorie wise, and it's quite interesting how the points break down. So we ate a total of 1,341 calories. We did 23 out of 23 points on the blue plan, 28 out of 30 on the green plan, and 20 out of 16 on the purple plan. So once again, you guys were over points on the purple plan. Now we could make some substitutions instead of having that English muffin for breakfast. Again, we could opt for some potatoes. We can definitely swap out a few things. I'm just giving you a simple, easy whole foods approach type of a day. Now we're really close on the green plan within a couple of points and we're right where we need to be on the blue plan. And we're much better or a little bit better in calories instead of 1,315 we actually have 1,341 so we have about 25 extra calories still a little bit on the low side so this is where again we could throw in some more zero point foods because we're at home we're, we're eating our meals at home because we're really focusing on those zero point foods so we could add an additional fruit during the day we could add a little bit more vegetables to maybe our bowl for lunch we could maybe add some extra veggies other than green beans some broccoli or something to try to bulk that up that falls on the zero point foods list so we're definitely a little bit better calorie wise we're a little closer on all the plans of points. And I really think if you are someone on the purple plan, the whole foods approach to the program is probably your best bet. Even though we were a little bit over on points, we're a lot closer. And again, just a couple sim simple substitutions can get us right there. Like literally swapping out that English muffin and having potatoes would put us right where we need to be on the purple plan. All right, so next is our person who's all about the convenience. They eat a lot more, pro they eat a lot of processed foods because they're convenient. So we're gonna talk about making our meals easy peasy and convenient. So for breakfast today, we're gonna grab a protein bar. We are gonna have a Quest protein bar, a four smart point one like the birthday cake for 180 calories and then and four smart points and then we're gonna have a banana for zero smart points. So that makes our breakfast super easy. Again, it's all about the convenience. And then for lunch today, we're gonna go ahead and warm up a Lean Cuisine chicken fettuccine. That's one of the most popular Lean Cuisines for six smart points. We're also going to toss in some extra broccoli to kind of bump up the, our veggie game. And then for a sweet treat or a fruit with lunch, we're gonna go ahead and have about a cup of fresh watermelon. So again, we made it easy and convenient on ourselves by making a frozen meal, but we're adding a little 
bit of extra veggies to kind of up our vegetable game. And then for tonight's dinner, we're gonna go ahead and make again a convenient dinner. We're gonna throw into our air fryer or our oven some of the Tyson chicken nuggets. You can have five of those for four smart points. We're also going to pop in some french fries of our choice for four points or zero points on the purple plan. Of course, we're gonna have that with a little bit of ketchup. And then we're also going to have about a half of a cup of corn with our dinner. So again, everything is very easy and convenient. And then for a snack today, we're actually gonna have two snacks. We're gonna have a built bar for three smart points. And then we're also going to have a WW or any other type of two point bar. So this could even be the little fiber one brownies. But again, we're gonna have one of those as well. So we are a little bit more hungry today because we are eating a little more processed food. So we're a little more hungry. So we decided that we're gonna go ahead and throw in two snacks. So how does this day work out number wise? So today we ate a total of 1,178 calories. We had 23 out of 23 points on the blue plan, 24 out of 30 points on the green plan, and we actually had 23 out of 16 points on the purple plan. So not only are we very low in calories, we're not much higher than our on the go eater. We're still far below where we should be, most of us calorically wise. And we are way over again in the on the purple plan because that lends itself to a less processed, less convenient, if you wanna call it that, way of working the WW program. You end up having to cook a little bit more on the purple plan. We're right where we need to be on blue. We're very close to where we need to be, even low on the green plan. So if you are somebody that is all about the convenient food, you don't mind processed food, you're just gonna eat what's convenient for you, the green plan is a fantastic choice because as you can see, we're low in points on the green plan. So we could actually eat a little bit more, which would get us a little bit closer to where we need to be calorie wise. We're perfect in points on the blue plan, but we're low in calories. So the overall consensus is if you are eating on the go or you're eating a more processed, convenient diet, the things that you're eating are going to be higher in smart points, but maybe a little bit less nutritional wise and a little bit less or a lot a bit less calorically wise. So things like hamburgers that are only 250 calories at Wendy's are going to cost us eight smart points, but it's only 250 calories. So if you are somebody that eats on the go or convenient food, chances are you're gonna be right where you need to be points wise, but maybe way under where you should be calorie wise. And the last scenario is the person who's all about the home cooking. So they're eating all of their meals at home, similar to somebody who eats a lot of zero point foods or a zero point food focus but we are even more all about cooking everything at home. So for today, for breakfast, we're gonna go ahead and have two eggs. We're gonna fry up one cup of hash browns of our choice. We're gonna have a couple slices of turkey bacon, and then we're gonna go ahead and have a banana. So we're gonna make a home cooked breakfast with the potatoes, the eggs, the bacon, and a banana. And then for lunch today, we're gonna go ahead and make a meatball type of dish for lunch. We're gonna have four ounces of 99% extra lean ground turkey, which we are going to add one tablespoon of breadcrumbs and whatever seasonings you'd like. And we're gonna go ahead and make those into meatballs. And with that, we are going to have half of a cup of mashed potatoes with one, one quarter cup of gravy. And then we're gonna go ahead and have half of a cup of corn as our vegetable. Plus it's so good to mix corn with mashed potatoes and gravy. Am I right? So that is going to be our lunch for today. So we're gonna have meatballs and mashed potatoes and we're gonna make it all from home. And for dinner, because we're at home and we're cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make two ingredient dough pizza. So we are going to do one half of a cup of flour. We're going to do one half of a cup of Greek yogurt, mix that together to make our dough. We're going to top our pizza, of course, with one serving of pizza sauce, which is generally one smart point. 15 slices of Hormel turkey bacon is one point. And then one quarter cup of mozzarella or light cheese is also one point. So we're going to make a pepperoni pizza for dinner. And we're gonna throw in a couple snacks for today. We're gonna to have our OG, what we have every day, Built Bar, but we're also going to have half of a cup of our favorite cottage cheese as well to get a little extra bit of protein. So overall, we have a pretty well-rounded day. We have foods that are filling and satisfying and we made them 
all at home so we feel really good that the only convenient food that we had today was a built bar and a lot of us use that as our dessert or as a sweet treat when we're kind of craving something sweet it's actually an excellent option all the information for built bar is down in the description box so check it out if you'd like to order so let's talk calories and points so on our cook at home day so the day that we pretty much made all of our meals from scratch the only thing we ate that was packaged essentially are our snacks we ended up with 1385 calories 23 out of 23 points on the blue plan 28 out of 30 points on the green plan and 21 out of 16 points on the purple plan so we're really really close to where we need to be purple plan related again we could simply swap out something that has points for something that doesn't have points on the purple plan makes it really really easy for us but we're very very close to where we should be on the purple plan we're right where we need to be on the blue and we even have points to spare on the green and did you notice that our calories were the highest on the stay at home and cook my meal scenario we were almost at 1400 calories now 1385 is closer to where most people that get the minimum number of points every day should be if you're not exercising and if you're not using your weeklies now i want to talk a little bit about weeklies weeklies are there and they're given to us to be used if you didn't notice no matter what scenario we chose as far as our eating style goes we were low where we should be calorie wise but if we're eating our weeklies whether it all be in one day or we're dividing them out amongst the week we're adding in those extra calories on top of this really low caloric number every day that is going to overall in the week put us at a calorie deficit so we lose weight, but not at such a severe calorie deficit that it can do harm to our body. So it's quite interesting for those people that don't use your weeklies, you are essentially, in my opinion, under eating every day by only having 1100 calories, 1200 calories, even 1300 calories. So I think it lends itself to using our weekly points. So if you're scared of your weeklies, give it a shot. I bet you your body will thank you and you may potentially notice a big drop on the scale, even the week that you use your weekly. So I think that's something to take away from today's calorie versus points experiment. A couple of other kind of interesting takeaways are when we are eating a lot of fast food, convenient food, processed food, we're not eating very many calories, yet we're using all of our points. And if you plug a lot of this fast food and convenient food, processed food into an app that tracks your macros, you're going to see that you are very carb focused. You're not eating where you should be protein and fat wise because you're eating so many processed carby fast food, lots of hamburger buns, bread, chips, snacky things. So that's an interesting takeaway as well. And those foods generally have more smart points, but not very many calories. So let's talk about like, let's give an example of something. So a granola bar that is 140 calories can oftentimes cost you six or seven smart points. You know, nature valleys of the world, the sweet and salty granola bars of the world. So you're spending six or seven smart points on something that's only 140 calories. That's a big amount of your points for the day, but such a little caloric value that that's why you're seeing your calories so low. Another example of points versus calories on one of my favorite foods that is quite interesting is the Clio bar. So the Clio bar is a chocolate covered Greek yogurt bar. I'm gonna insert a picture here for you guys. They're delicious, they have great ingredients, they are filling and satisfying. It's a really something you should be leaning on for a sweet treat, macro versus calorie wise versus ingredient wise. But that Clio bar that is 140 calories is six smart points. That is why people reach for things like the fiber one bars or your more processed foods because they're lower points for the same number of calories. So it's interesting because of the sugar or even sometimes the naturally occurring sugar, not even added sugar in a food, really pumps up its points value. Also foods that are a little bit higher in fat, such as avocados, are a lot more smart points. So I feel like the takeaway from this is eating your weeklies aren't bad. Make sure you're eating enough calories. Spend a little time double tracking in a free calorie counting app. There's also my fitness pal. 
Pay attention to your macros. Make sure that you're not 50, 60% of your day eating carbs and not getting in enough healthy fats and proteins. It's all about trial and error and all about what you want to see for your WW journey. What is it that, what are the results that you want? What types of foods do you want to eat? Where do you want to put your points every single day? What works best with your lifestyle? So I thought this was quite interesting. I'm hoping that WW makes some changes in the future as to how they point certain things such as avocados or maybe the Clio bars to help us lean towards choosing these healthier options versus choosing a low fat, fat free, sugar free option instead just because of the points when we're getting so much more nutrients from the whole food that maybe costs a little bit more points. So wishful thinking, you never know. WW is always researching and coming up with what's best for us. I love the program, I trust the program. I just hope that in the future they make a few little tweaks to make it a little bit more whole, full food focused. So I hope this helped you guys. I know you guys were super interested in hearing the difference between calories and points, how it all played out. I will list all of this information down in the description box for you guys so that you can kind of see it at a glance. And again, I recommend if you don't want to do it every day because it can be cumbersome, maybe a day or two a week, double track and see where you're falling to make sure that you're staying within your points, of course, but you're also staying within a healthy caloric range for you. There are so many calorie counter calculators on the internet. The Lose It app, the MyFitnessPal app will both give you your goal for calories every day based on how much weight you want to lose some of your weight loss goals. Just check it out. I think it's super important. I am going to go ahead and list those two calorie counting apps down below for you guys as well for reference. Also in the description box, you're going to find the links to all my favorite things, the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our community over there. It's such a welcoming, warm, supportive place to be. So head on over and join us. My website is down there as well, and I know I'm gonna get some questions. I am wearing the vibrant red lip color from Tori Bell, and I am wearing the selfie lashes also from Tori Bell. I'm obsessed. So I will have the, the Tori Bell website linked down below for you guys as well. If you have any questions, I'd love for you to leave those in the comments. Also, I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you think about these different styles of approaching the program and calories versus smart points? I'd love to chat with you guys down in the comments section. If you're new, just hit that little subscribe button so you can join my community and the little bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. If you really like this video and you learned something new today, give this one a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps my channel. Again, questions, concerns, comments, leave it in the comment section. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And of course, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.